my name is Martijn van Beek, uh, Martin will do. Uh, I'm uh, 26, I was diagnosed in 2012 at the age of 22. My name is Willa, I'm from Rochester, New York. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia hepatocellular carcinoma September, or no, October 2014. My name's Patrick, I'm from Massachusetts, I'm 33 years old. I've uh, been a fibromyalgia fighter for about two and a half years now. I always had, I had this kind of a hardened section in my lower right abdomen and um, which turned out to be my liver was, you know, the initial site. Until one day I woke up in really, really serious pain and when I took off all my clothes to take my shower and looked in the mirror, I could actually see large tumors like bulging out. Because of a metastasis that was uh, uh, pressing against my stomach, um, which um, made it unable to process as much, as much food as, as normally, and I lost uh, weight rapidly uh, because of that, and um, they started testing and they soon found it was cancer. Um, they uh, removed two-thirds of my liver and a tumor elsewhere. Uh, and then I had uh, uh, two to three hour surgeries in 2014 and uh, uh, early 2016. In November of 2014, I ended up having my first major surgery. And they removed a third of my liver and a baseball-sized ball of lymph nodes. In January 2015, um, we scheduled the surgery. Um, he was going to try to remove as much as he could, which included the 23 centimeter bulk tumor growing out of the liver, not to mention some of the spread and everything else that had metastasized. You know, it was only a few weeks after surgery I had a scan because they initially didn't know how successful it was, and it said I had no residual disease. So, um, I was cancer free and that was just amazing. And I had a scan at the end of May and unfortunately it had revealed that um, I had some lymph nodes that were, um, you know, the cancer had returned. I had a scan in March and we had found that it went to my liver, lungs, and a bunch of lymph nodes. Halfway through May, just about, uh, they found four tumors. Fibrolamella is a relatively rare disease, thus it's not high in the list of funding, which is unfortunate because the patients, mm -hmm. if cured, still have most of their lives ahead of them. I'm Lauren Tricosta. Matthew Hilton Lynch is my nephew. Matthew was diagnosed with fibrolamellar in 2012 when he was 13 years old. He discovered a lump in his abdomen, and when his parents brought him in to the doctor, he was diagnosed with stage 4 liver cancer. So, uh, hello, my name is Katie Bottomley. My mum was Rose Bottomley, and she was diagnosed with fibrolamellar um, in 2010, and sadly passed away in 2012. In his last year, nothing could be done to stop the progression of the cancer. He died in June 2014, uh, surrounded by his family. He was 15. Matthew got a lot of strength from his family. His mom and dad and brother and sister rallied around him. And that was his foundation of support. For me, my family, definitely. Um, you know, my close friends, everyone that supports me, that I mean, helps you keep going, you know. You, 
I draw a lot of my strength from not only my friends and my family, but random strangers that I meet throughout my day. Um, I work at a juice bar, so people come in and tell me a little bit about their diagnoses, and I'm able to help them and talk them through it. And we even exchange numbers, so I keep in touch with them. The friends and family who support me, um, but also from um, um, uh, trying to enjoy myself uh, as much as I can, even though at times it gets hard. And uh, from the enjoyable times, that's where I draw my strength from. Um, I think that's what helped her, I think, her, her music um, and her singing and her voice um, got her through, got her through everything and her ability to laugh and um, even when she was in pain. He took up birding, bought a telescope, they went on a make-a-wish trip to England. Uh, he attended Magic the Gathering events often and was always one to dive into science. Grew. Thanks to over 80 patients who responded to an appeal of ours on YouTube and Facebook to donate their tumor tissue, there are now some very clear answers. First, there's only one kind of primary fibrolamellar tumor. They're identical from patient to patient. Second, it's the result of a one-time glitch in the DNA of that cell in the liver, which ends up fusing two different genes together, forming a hybrid, a chimera. Five Miller Cancer Foundation has a threefold mission. Number one, to raise money for research towards finding this cure. Number two, to educate healthcare professionals about Miller. And number three, to help patients and their families on their very difficult Miller journey. The Miller Registry offers hope and action for the Miller community. It's a website where patients, family, medical professionals, and caregivers can share information in a searchable forum, read plain English summaries of Fibrolamellar articles, and participate in a comprehensive survey created by a team of medical experts, researchers, and patients. This aggregated data will then be shared with researchers in their quest to find effective treatments and perhaps a cure for this rare cancer. Going forward, we need more tumor tissue and we need your support. I'm thankful that there are people out there that aren't just these corporate research teams that who knows what they're doing. You talk to Sandy Simon and his team and they actually care. They care about you and they care about the research and they want to share with you the information that they're finding and what they're working on because they're just as excited. I mean there are a lot of questions that are unanswered but I would just uh, press them to continue doing what they're doing because I know they're doing amazing work. Matthew was a scientist at heart. He donated some of his fibrolamellar tissues to the fibrolamellar tissue repository at Rockefeller University. He wanted to be a part of the cure. And my doctor told me the statistics. But he told me basically it's a one in a million chance almost. And I looked at him and I said, well, if I have a one in a million chance to live, I'm gonna forget the million and focus on that one. And that's basically how I've been living my life ever since.